Uh, and uh, when they passed away, I was really sad um, because I love family and I love being a storyteller. And um, I think family is, knowing your family history is a part of, of what I hope all children learn because it, I hope it doesn't become a lost art form because of texting, you know. Um, I love longhand letters, so if you want to write me a letter, I'll actually write you back. I still believe in stamps. So anyway, um, this this song, I'm just going to tell you really quickly, my um, great aunt, sister, Pauline, is her name. Uh, she outlived my aunt, Sam, and she lived alone in the house she was born in with 13 brothers and sisters. It was a little two-bedroom shack. And, uh, she ended up living there. She never learned how to drive, and one day she had to go to the doctor. So she was about 98 years old, and she walked to the doctor's. And uh, she went in the little room, and she had on the little paper dress, and she was really tall and really bony. And she had to wait a long time, like 45 minutes, and finally this young upstart from New York came in, this young doctor. And he walked in, and he said, hello. And she stood up and punched him in the head. <laughs> And he fell on the floor and he, he stood up and he was very dazed and he said, why, why did you punch me? And she said, you never keep a lady waiting. And then she walked home in that little paper dress with her fanny shaking in the back all the way home. So that's the kind of stock me and my girls come from. So, so we'll, I'll be playing here with you till you die too. That's just fun. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to start. Yeah. 